If this were to happen, the markets would get crushed. Maybe like something we've never seen before. I, I can't imagine it, but I just, I was sitting there thinking, are they actually talking? This is nuts. All right, so let's just read this from Seeking Alpha. Uh, the St. Louis president, uh, St. Louis Fed president, St. Louis president, <laughs> St. Louis Fed president, James Bullard said he wouldn't rule out a 75 basis point increase, but it isn't his base case. The mark has already priced in a 50 basis point hike for the May meeting, kicking off a ramped up tightening cycle. And we can already see the tenure has gone up to, uh, I think it was 2.83, which is pretty significant, man. I mean, that's uh, that's pretty dastardly. Let's see what the, I don't need my glasses. Tenure is now at 2.86. Yeah, so that's a, uh, that's a big jump. I mean, that's a hunt. That's, that's a increase of a doubling from where it were just in January. I mean, more than doubling. I mean, in uh, July is at 1.1. 1 .1. So we've more than doubled. We've gone up 250%. It's nuts. That's the yield, by the way, in the 10-year treasury. But check out what he says. Bullard emphasized that the Fed's fund rate should be lifted to 3.5% at a minimum by the end of this year. That'd be more than 300 basis points above the effective rate of 33 basis points. Uh, <laughs> uh, I mean, that would be, he said it should be to three and a half percent, which is, is right now it's at one third of 1%. I don't even know how you calculate that in terms of, what is that, a, a thousand? I, so if... If we have a double, so basically if it goes from one to two, that's a hundred basis points increase. That's a doubling. If it goes from one to three, that's a tripling, if that makes sense. But if it goes from 0.33 to three and a half, that's, I don't even know how you compound that. Even, so from 0.33 to 0.66 is a doubling. 0 0.66, 0 0.33 to 0.99 is a tripling. 0.33 to, I, you, I, I can't even fathom the percentage increase in that that would destroy the markets and that's stocks bonds and and real estate i you know the fact that a federal reserve board president is even talking like that boggles the mind now it's not going to happen i mean because these guys are political animals they don't get to become the fed by being uh independent they're all political animals but i'm just like holy crap dude now what would destroy the market would also make the bond market come back Fiercely, I'm just telling you right now. So once it got destroyed, it come back because you're like, whoa, new bonds being issued with a three and a half percent federal funds rate. Uh, who knows what the ten year would be? That make the bonds look very, very attractive once they got destroyed. But again, bonds don't go bankrupt. You still get your principal back. Stocks are what go bankrupt, not bonds. Bonds are always going to made even, made whole. Now that's uh, from the initial par value. Anyway, just the fact that this guy's talking about it, it's like, dude, that's, that's, uh, let's see what kind of comments we got here. I've never, um, <laughs> it's never happened that high of an increase. I mean, ever. It would destroy things. Let's see what kind of comments. Because comments on here. All right, the Fed will have to hike to a less high place the more the stock market tanks. Yeah, exactly. Example, give a stop at 5.5%. Well, it's easy to Oh, it's as easy to deflate an economy as to inflate it. I think not. Yeah, it is easy to deflate. It. Anyway, I uh, oh no, the Fed has a plan exactly. Yeah, I'm not sure what they're. Why would the, the seeking alpha even print this dribble? He said nothing addressed the key specifics of our challenges. Runaway food. Okay, um, I, I just that's nuts, man. Anyway, the point being is no one knows nothing. Um, I'm just telling you, and I've said it a thousand times a Sunday now, um, against what I've said years ago, which is I didn't like bonds. Now I do. When the Fed raises, the bonds get pummeled a little bit. And let's take a look what's happened lately. So we'll look at uh, so Vanguard long-term corporate is down 18.75% uh, uh, so far this year, year to date, almost 20. That's not quite bear market, but pretty doggone close. I bet if we looked at uh, one year, probably coming up there so right there 107 yeah, i can't really tell it's january october yeah we're, we're pretty close to bear market which is uh 
I tell you, man, that's that's a good place to be. I mean, it's the the damage is done. Now, if they raise 300 basis points, what would happen? Um, <laughs> geez, I have just the idea that a Federal Reserve president is even talking like that. It's crazy to me. Let's see what the duration on this guy is, um, if they have it on here. I think it's like eight. Um, All right, so let's uh, let's hold on. So Vanguard Intermediate Term Bond Fund is down about uh, about nine point six two percent year to date. Um, that's that's basically correction territory. Um, it's such a good buying opportunity, man. Let's see what the Ginny May is doing. BFIIX. Let's see what Ginny May. Is. I have no idea. Let's take a look though, shall we? Shall we see what the Ginny May is doing? BFIIX for the year to date. Let's take a look, shall we? Yes, we shall. Down 6.77. All right. So it's worse than Ginny May's ever been for uh, for any significant amount of time, that's for sure. Um, I know a lot of people get nervous. Like, oh, my goodness, I bought the Ginny May or I bought the bonds. Just hang tight. They'll come back. They always do. I, now, I'm saying they always do. The nice thing about bonds is they literally, unless they go bankrupt, and government bonds cannot go bankrupt, they will always pay their par. That's all there is to it. Stocks, you can't say that. Bonds, you can't. If it's a corporate bond, you can't because corporate bonds could go bankrupt. But that's why I like saying your safer stuff, you know, the G Fund and the TSP, the Ginnie Mae government bonds, because uh, they were guaranteed to make you whole. Now, that doesn't mean you're going to make any money. It doesn't mean inflation won't eat you alive, but you're going to get your money back. That's, that's a guarantee. For the par value of the issuance of the bond, can't stress this enough. If you bought a bond trading at a 20% premium, I guarantee that bond will be reduced by 20% by the time it matures because it has to. Bonds are mathematical, as simple as mathematical calculation you can, you, can, you can calculate. But once the interest rates go up and now you're buying bonds most likely at discounts, potentially, it's a good opportunity, man. All right, anyway, just keep your eye on it. It's nuts that the Federal Reserve, even a guy's talking like that. I just, uh, <laughs> it's crazy. All right, we'll see you.